before the Wedding Academy, I was working in a joinery company. After doing that for a couple of years, I just realised that the joinery work wasn't for me and I wasn't suited to that job. And then I seen the advertisement for the Wedding Academy. Read more into the course, applied for it, done a couple of interviews, and then I got accepted onto the course. Before the Wedding Academy, I was working self-employed as a window cleaner for maybe six, seven years. The reason then I applied for the course was I didn't really have a trade or a set of skills that you know I could kind of take with me, if you know what I mean. So I wanted to get a trade or something that there was a high demand in so that I could have it, you know, get better at it and then take it with me. It was five weeks of training all together with a two week work placement. And then every day you were up training, you were doing a different joint, whether it was a T joint or a lap joint, um, you were doing all different types of wells, like an uphill well, downhill, just something different every day which sort of kept it interesting. The good thing, especially for me I found, was we were in the workshop a lot more than we were in the classroom. So although we'd done the safety bits and whatnot in, in the classroom, which were important, most of the time we were down in the shop getting the practice in. Whenever I start here, the first four to five months it's all welding. You're sort of learning things like how to set the welder, when to up the voltage, how to change the wire speed, so you're learning things like that. And then after maybe five to six months, I then moved on to fabricating work. So now I'm not only just welding the machines that, that were built up, I'm now building them up myself and welding them. So I think I'm coming on right this one. It's one of them things, you know, it's a bit daunting when you've never done it before, let alone when you're going in somewhere new and it's completely new again, you know. So it gives you confidence that, you know, in this company that, you know, they're willing to invest and help you progress, you know, if you want to progress, they'll help you progress. Um, well, there's a couple of routes you could take. You could go back and do a level 3 in advanced welding skills. Um, me and Drew were sort of looking into that as well. You can do that in an even course. Or you could always just keep on progressing in the company. You could maybe move on to aluminium welding or you could try your hand at TIG welding. Then that just leads to more progression routes down the line of some more money and maybe a promotion to a supervisor or a well quality inspector, things like that there. Well, I know for me it was such a great opportunity. You know, courses like this don't come along very often. You know, the chance to kind of get that foundation and get it quickly so that you can get straight into work is very rare. Usually it's maybe a longer process. So if you're really considering it and you get a chance to do that, you know, this academy would be the one to go for.